Happy Wednesday, everybody. Happy new release day. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with our double header, our dual case break uh, featuring 2019 Bowman Chrome Baseball, a brand new release. We're doing a case of hobby, a 12 box hobby, and a 12 box HTA. And it's a random team break. We comboed a couple teams right there Rockies, Tigers, Rays, Pirates. All card ship, right? And Bowman, so it's all prospects basically, so there's no veteran commons. Now, we gotta do the early bird randomizer first. If you were one of the first 17 people to purchase spots right there, you have a chance at an extra spot. You guys are early birds. One of you will catch the worm after nine times, five and a four. Name on top gets it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, congrats to Christopher Freeze. There you go, Chris. You are now an early bird. You have caught the worm. And Daniel F. bought the last spot straight up, so he gets the last spot mojo star next to his name. All right, now let's grab all 28 names here put them into this list and roll it and randomize it four and a six ten times one two three Chris Freeze is like watch me get a crappy team but it's a free crappy team five six seven eight nine and tenth and final time I said 10, right? Yeah, four and a six, 10 times. There's 10 right there. Or I guess half price. It's, he bought one already, so it's, yeah, half the price, yeah. Two for the price of one. Travis Melberg, down to Ryan. Now we'll go to another tab right here. This is for the team list. Four and a six, 10 times for the teams, including the combos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, and tenth and final time. I'm waiting for ram.org, there we go. There's 10 times right there at the bottom. So we've got the Mariners on top down to the Baltimore Orioles on the bottom. Now, everyone has a checklist, right? Be sure to check your groupratechecklist.com. If you want to make some trades, you certainly can. We'll give it a few moments for that. Travis with the Mariners. Uh, Fotios, you have the Mets. Daniel with the Phillies. Last Ball Mojo. Evan with the Strohs. Boombox with the Padres. Chris with the Cardinals. Dino with the White Sox. Boombox with the uh, Pirates-Rays combo. Dino, you have the Nationals. Eric with the Rockies Tigers combo. Bill with the Diamondbacks. John with the Ti uh, with the Rangers. That is, John Samuelson with the Blue Jays. John Harshbarger with the Reds. John Hyanga with the Brew Crew. Chris Maxwell, you got the Angels. Jake with the Royals. Michael with the Twins. Daniel, you got my Dodgers. El Canon with the Cubbies. Chris with your early bird spot Braves. That's not so bad. Josh Callahan, Marlins. Keith with the Giants. Daniel with the A's. Jason Jones with the Indians. Cody with the Red Sox, Jared Morling with the Yankees, and Ryan with the Baltimore Orioles. Now let me know, I'll alphabetize this by column A. Let me know if there's any trades, ladies and gentlemen. We'll give it a few moments. And I think I dropped the, I'll drop the checklist again. We'll give everybody a few moments to, to kind of peruse that. I think we got some trade offers out there. El Canon wants Cubs, or he'll trade the Cubs for that Rockies-Tigers combo spot or the Pirates-Rays combo spot. And Daniel would be willing to entertain uh, offers on the A's if anybody's interested in the athletics. Yeah, just just control C to copy V. To no, I don't know those ones, but like that, like to make it all the 
Oh, just hold control, and then just click the numbers, and that'll get cap that'll get the rows. Or hit control, and then you can hit the letters for the columns. This might be an hour and twenty minutes. Well, how how long did the hobby take? Like Forty minutes. Forty minutes. So hobby should only take like twenty thirty minutes, and then I can do HTA on my own. And if even if you help me out, we can shave that down to like ten minutes, maybe an hour, and then maybe another twenty minutes to go through orders, and then we'll probably be ready for the next thing. Um, someone was saying that that the other new release, the football new release, XR was really close. We only have one team left on that. That's the Broncos. We can do that at com. We've got flawless collegiate football, one brief case break. Pick your team two, down to seven teams left, com. We've got 12 box hobby by itself, five teams left, and HTA two, six teams left. So we should be able to do those tonight as well, com. All right, looks like no trades. A lot of trade offers out there, but let's just close it up and let's get a move on. TWC trade window closed. Let's print, let's rip. All right, so once again, we've got the Nick Cam fired up so Jason Jaspi can help us. Do hobby first, of course. We'll close out with uh, we'll close out with HTA. Oh, we got posters to decorate the store. Nice. And we'll do an autograph recap at the end of this break. So there it is. And so you can see Jason right there. And each each pile will represent a box, ladies and gentlemen. I'll start with this one, too. Good luck, everybody. Two autographs per master box, one per mini. Here is the uh, that's the HTA case right back there. We, hobby takes a little bit longer, so we're gonna do that one first. Good luck, everybody. Now I'll drop the the prospect link for the chat again. MLB.com recently uh, updated their top 100 prospects based off of their final numbers of the minor league season. So you can take a look at that. You can see some of the movers and shakers. See if any of your prospects that you pull out of here, the, any of the autographs, um, you can see if they're, uh, they've made any significant movements up. But as I was saying off camera before we started the recording, you know, even if you get someone who's not in that top 100 list, don't, don't worry. All it takes is one good season in the minors and then boom, Gavin Lux is the number two prospect two summers ago. People were wondering if he was going to be a bust. So that's how quickly things can change. All right, box one. Good luck, everybody. And all cards will ship. Nice, nice, Landon. Yeah, so that'll come up after this. First autograph is Michael King for the Yankees. There's the official printout right there, the Hobby HTA double header break. Yeah. Might as well just pop it right there. Um, Jared Morling got randomized the Yankees. Nice. EA saying Julio Rodriguez moved up the rankings big time. That's good. There's Luis Garcia. 
That's a uh, purple shimmer. Are these not numbered? Yeah, those are the ones per box. Yeah, I didn't think they're numbered. Yeah, okay. I thought so. It's kind of tricky. We'll have our shipping team top load those before they get sorted and shipped out, of course. Christian, poor Christian Yelich, refractor to four ninety nine. Although the Brewers have been playing some pretty decent baseball without him. And our second auto is uh, Telmito Augustine for the Nationals. That goes to Dino Bates. That's your second autograph there. There's Grayson Rodriguez to 250. And there you go. Remember, all cards ship. So I know we're going a little bit quickly through this, but all cards will ship. All right, so here's the next pile right here, which you can see on the camera above, and there's another box right there. So each stack should have two autographs. There's the Jose Abreu to 4.99, and we got the one per box, Miguel Geraldo. For the Blue Jays, that'll be for John Samuelson. The White Sox refractor goes to Dino, and we've got Patrick Sandoval, autograph for the Angels. That'll go to Chris Maxwell, Jesse Nunez. What's going on? Uh, this is not a card-winning channel, I'm afraid. I know there are some that are like that, but no, this is uh, you buy into group breaks on jazbeescasebreaks.com. So pretty much in this particular case, you, uh, you buy a spot for a set price. You get a random team. We open up all the boxes and whatever team you get. For example, Chris Maxwell got randomized the Angels, so he's going to get this. So you can see all of our available group breaks on jazbeescasebreaks.com. And there is Joe Jacques, Purple Shimmer, and Jameson Hanna. Mm, Jameson. That goes to <laughs> Daniel and the A's. I'm gonna warm myself up for tomorrow. Got a, you got a brutal <laughs> break. That's actually not bad though. I was like Bowman baseball. Was like, you know what? I think yeah. in my head I kept thinking Bowman baseball, yeah. not Chrome. Chrome is actually not so bad, timing wise. All right, and then we got Nolan Jones to ninety nine. There's the next box right there. All right, thanks, Jesse. Yeah, check it out. If you kind of watch for for a little, for a few days or so, for a few nights, I think you should be able to to wrap your head around it. The risk, of course, is that you may not get anything. That's the risk. Of course, the upside is you could get everything. <laughs> There's Moses. Moises? Moises Gomez for the Tampa Bay Rays. Pirates Rays combo that goes to Boombox. I guess no Wander Franco if the Rays are combo. I guess not. He'll probably be a rookie next year, right? He will, yeah. And, um, no, there's Wander Franco. Elite Farmhands, Prime Chrome Signatures, oh. and Auto Stat. Looks like they're short printed, though. Maybe it's the pirates that don't have a lot. That's why they're combo together. There's a uh, Wencel, Wenceel Perez to four ninety nine. There's Wander Franco right there. I think some of these could be autographs too. These stat track autographs. There's Brandon Belt to one fifty. 
Blake Snell made a start at Dodger Stadium last night. He's back in action. Save one of those Pete Alonzos as well, and that Tatis Jr. And we've got Mason Engel. Engler. And Glert. And Glert. Yeah, this this that's kind of a tongue twister. That's for the Rangers. That's going to be for John G. Is that Tebow? Yeah, he is there. He's the first. <laughs> that's not funny. I'll save that. I'll, I'll bet. I'll bet that actually sells well on the secondary market. There's that 250 Paul DeYoung. Yeah, I don't know if he's autographed, but I pulled his. I pulled an orange. Jacob Degrom. I was like, wow. Wait, wait, wait. We gotta check this here. No, he doesn't. Yeah, that's, that's still cool though. He'd no ink for Tim Tebow, but you could get parallels, and I'll I'll bet you you'd be surprised at how well Tim T baseball Tim Tebow stuff sells. People love Tim Tebow. Think he can make it? Oh, that's what they asked me. I was like, I don't know. I mean, I feel like if he's going to make it, he's going to really have to prove himself. He's in the devil right now, isn't he? Yeah. I don't know. I was like, if they would have done it for money, they would have done it back. Right. But I think they're treating him like a legit yeah, exactly. prospect. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so you're right, yeah. you really got to prove yourself. But what prospect works like on college football now? <laughs> right. All right, here's the next stack right here. Too much glue. <laughs> Whoa, this is, this is like it's like Case Breaker Combine right here. Roy Roy says Jason, I timed you. Took 20 seconds to break a box. I think Jason is much faster than me doing this. There's uh, Shervin Newton, another Met for uh, Photius. You'll get that Team Tebow card too. Brian Anderson to 250 for the Marlins. Kristen wow. Stewart to 499. So Brian said out of 50, $57. Wow. wow. That's not bad. <laughs> That's not bad. Brian Peoples is saying three and a half hours left on an eBay for a gold out of fifty Tebow, and it's at fifty-seven bucks. So what that 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 regular Tebow could probably go for like five ten bucks. There's Josh Bell to one fifty. There's Jordan Duran, Johan Duran to four ninety nine, coming into focus, and we've got. Christian Javier, 70 out of 150 for the Astros. That's for Evan and the Strohs. Chris Maxwell is saying he's, he's not going to make it. It's tough. I mean, it's not easy. The, the game is so much about... Yeah, Chris Max was like 12, 12 years working in the minors. That, that's his background. Y you're right. I mean, it's it's a game. It's it's such a game of just like repetition, repetition, repetition. More so than I think a lot of sports. Uh, not really, Trey. I think XR filled up, but nothing else after that. It's just the dual case break that we're doing right now. And I'll go through orders right after this, and I'm pretty sure that um, I'm pretty sure that XR one pick your team one filled up, and that's it. But I, I think there are a number of breaks that are pretty close. Like another hobby version, I think is in single digits, and an HTA case is in single digits as well. There's Kiebert Ruiz to 99. And they, we have Luis Garcia for the Phillies. That's going to be for Daniel. Last spot mojo for Daniel F. J. Cave to 499. Gotta watch out for that when I open up the next case. <laughs> I was like, geez.
There's Jorge Mateo. And we've got 7 out of 25, Garrett Whitlock. That's another Yankee for Jared. There is Wander Javier to 150. There you go. Yeah, it looks like there's a lot of Yankees in, uh, yeah, in this stuff cool. here. All right, next box. TJ's wondering, Chris, what what uh, what your experience in the minors is. TJ's in minor league baseball as well. Director of merchandise, I believe, at in Tulsa for the Tulsa Drillers, the Dodgers Double A team, who just recently won another final, Texas League final. There's Danny Diaz, Red Sox autograph for Cody. Purple shimmer right there. Ooh! Oh, my. No. Ooh! Wait, is that a gold? It's a gold. Okay, good. <laughs> 17 out of 50. Oh, wait, you guys are in. Oh, you guys came up three out short? Oh, I just assumed, TJ, that we had one. Vlad Guerrero Jr., John Samuelson got randomized the Blue Jays, gets the 17, just 10 off the jersey number, 17 out of 50. That is awesome. How crazy is that? We pulled the 16 earlier. Are you serious? <laughs> 16 and 17 back to back. Interesting. That's awesome. I that is was, cool. I thought it was like, oh, it's a super friend of I know. I, I for a second I thought it was a super too, and then I was just. Like, good. I was like, oh, but but still, that is strong. John Tamison, that's very nice. There he is again. We'll save another one of those for you. There's Gallardo to four ninety nine. I want to grab those last two boxes here. All right. I don't know if John Tamison's even watching right now. He might still be at work. All right, so I'm gonna slide this box over here. You can see it on the, oh, you can see it on the camera right there. I'm gonna slide. Each stack represents a box. These are case hits, right? I'm gonna put the case hit. We'll do that last. All right, let's keep going. Good luck, everybody. So far, so good. All right, Chris Maxwell was everything from a clubby to a GM. He's out of baseball now. Uh, Tell Micho Augustine, 250. Yeah, TJ's been there for a while, Chris Maxwell. You, it's, there's a good chance you may have run into him and not even know it. Tell Micho Augustine uh, for Dino and the Nats. And we've got a Perdomo out of four ninety nine for the Diamondbacks. And Fernando Tatis Jr. And we got Mookie Betts, thirty nine out of fifty. 
That's for the Red Sox, Cody. I think he's back in action off the... Just, just, he was carrying a little bit of an injury there. Out of 150, Michael King. And for the Brew Crew, we've got Quinton Torres Costa. John Hyanga got randomized the Brew Crew. There you go, John. Small world. Chris Maxwell and TJ may have crossed paths in minor league baseball. Alright, and we got Israel and Pineda. Another national for Dino. Thank you, right, Jason. No Gracias. Thank you. We'll I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. There you go. Thank, big thanks to Jason. He's been here since 9 a.m. L.A. time, ripping cases and everything. He's going to have a very busy day tomorrow, too. There's Jake Bowers to 250. Got a refractor, Nolan Gorman. It's a big prospect for the Cardinals to 499. And there's Connor Pilkington. 326 out of 499. And that's for the Chicago White Sox. Dino. Dino having a nice break there. Right, an all card ship is, yeah, Roy. Our shipping team is going to be very busy. Oh, yeah. So that's a thanks for bringing that up, Roy. Um, obviously, you know, give our give our shipping team a little bit of cushion. Give, give them a, another extra day or two from what you normally expect from shipping because this is going to take since we're shipping everything too all card ship in these Bowman Chrome breaks it's going to take a while so just keep that in mind it, it will take a little extra time to get all this stuff shipped out so give them a little bit of flexibility but we'll try to get all this stuff out as quickly and as accurately as possible All right, there's Mason Denneberg to 25 for the Nats. Next autograph is Levon Soto for Chris Maxwell and the Angels. Nice one for the Halos. We got a green at Pilkington to 99. Oh, thanks. And we got Geraldo Perdomo for the Diamondbacks. Bill with the Snakes. There's Nelson Cruz to 499. We've got three more boxes to go, and then we can breeze through that HTA. The HTA should be real easy. We got, out of 150, an Atomic Nico. Nico Herner for the Cubbies, who made a nice debut. That goes to Josh Kanan. There's a... Uh, come on. What am I doing with this last name here? That's gotta be like Hajeli, right? Hajel? I'm going Hajel. That's for the Giants. 
Daniel, so you get your stuff quick, like three days. Uh, yeah, generally, it'll be uh, it'll be pretty quick. But obviously, with a lot of sorting to do, add like another day or two. You know, another business day or two for us to get this sorted and shipped out to you. It's gonna be a lot. All right, we've got for the Red Sox, we've got Durbin Feltman. Uh oh, looks like Daniel's phone is resending all those. <laughs> There's Keston Hira, Ryan Carl Weathers, We've got Tebow again, Sam Hentengus, and for the Cardinals, Austin Warner. Cardinals, that'll be for Chris Freeze. <laughs> El Canone saying there's only two Cubs prospect autos in this. I believe we can pull. A lot of other guys, though. There's Jonathan Loizaga to 499. We've got Anthony Rizzo's, Ian Haps, Chris Bryant's, Miguel Amaya's, and. Bunch of Nico Herners. Looks like a little bit short printed, but still. Short printed and insert autos. Chris Max, TJ, I don't know if you're still listening. TJ, did we do a hat exchange in 08? Chris Maxwell is asking. Imagine if you guys did. You guys, I'm convinced that you two have met at some point. Like just like maybe even in passing, and now have reunited on jazpiecasebreaks.com. There's Luis Gill, 165 out of 499. Nice refractor autograph for Jared. There you go. Yankees number 20 prospect. Oh man, TJ saying that would have been me. You guys did meet. That's awesome. Pete Alonzo. There's Bobby Dalbeck. And Eli White for the Rangers. That's going to go to John and the Texas Rangers. And there's Jay Cave to 99 for the Twins. Last box with the Relic right here. And then we'll dive into the HTA. Daniel, who else did you get aside from... You had... You have the Dodgers. Got my Dodgers. And you have the A's. And the Phillies with your last spot mojo. That's a small world, Daniel. Or uh, that's a small world, Chris and TJ. I feel like you. I mean, I know TJ's been been with Jaspies for ages. I feel like Chris, you have too, right? I'm surprised that this has never come up. <laughs> you know what I mean? In all of our baseball talk and conversation. There's Nick Green to 4.99. And Connor Pilkington again. It's another one for Dino and the White Sox. But Chris and TJ, I'm, I'm stunned that this hasn't come up before. I feel like Chris might have mentioned it but in the past, but I 
guess I guess it must have been a little, must have been a year or so ago. It was Bo Bichette, Atomic Elite Farmhands Atomic to 150. Uh, TJ saying I think we did talk about it. Now that he thinks about it, but it just didn't get down to what teams got it. It was like, oh yeah, you too, yeah me too, and then that was it. Didn't really go any further than that. But now, look at this. What a moment. This is what makes Jaspies fun, ladies and gentlemen. Bringing people all around the world together. Reuniting, reconnecting. It's Parker Meadows. And let's see what we have for that relic. It's going to be behind Wander Javier. Arizona Fall League relic and autograph Nico Herner. There you go. El Canon believes. I believe as well. That's really nice. That's on card too. And the jersey has the authentication sticker as well. So you know exactly what day that jersey came from. JC774, sorry, JC774826. Go to MLB.com slash authentication. You can punch those letters and numbers in. That is strong. 22 out of 50. Wow. That's a really nice one. I think we might hold that to the end in the autograph recap. Had a great debut, too. All right, the HTA case coming up. This will be able to breeze through only three cards a box. We'll go through some orders after this. And then I believe, uh, I believe XR Pick Your Team 1 has sold out, so we'll be getting into that. And I think we're gonna have a really nice, uh, I think we're have a really nice day going on. Now, Chris Maxwell says in his baseball travels, he was a uh, GM in Bluefield with the Blue Jays, with a Blue Jays affiliate. And you guys had Syndergaard, Aaron Sanchez, and Kevin Clark and Dalton Pompey, and you lost in the champion. Who'd you guys lose to? That's a stacked team. So there are five on the left side, five on the right side, and then 11 and 12 right here. All right, good luck everybody. Probably about another half hour or so to go in the break. Oh, I see. You, you played a Cardinals affiliate, and then Syndergaard got sent, got called up in the playoffs. I see. All right, there's a redemption on the bottom. Any idea who the redemptions are? 48 out of 50, there's Wincel Perez for the Tigres. That goes to the Rockies-Tigers combo. That goes to Eric Shimada. On, Eric on the board. Next up is Mason Englert for the Rangers. That will be for John G. And the redemption is, I think the first redemption we've seen maybe. Congrats, you are due to receive 
Chrome Auto Relic Gold Refractor Parallel of F. Frank Franklin. Freddy. Fee, Fe, Fernando. Fernando. Tatis Jr. Wow. That is for the Padres. Boombox. We got randomized the Padres in this one. Wow. So we got the Vlad Guerrero Jr. gold in the hobby case. And now the Tatis Jr. in this uh, HTA case. We'll keep it towards the bottom for the uh, autograph recap. For showmanship. Earlier this year, we went to the Topps Industry Conference in, uh, in Scottsdale, Arizona. And one of the guests there on the first night that we were there, one of the guests was Fernando Tatis Jr. And I told him, hey, Fernando, he was signing autographs. So he was really nice. And I said, Fernando, you know what you got to do? You got to tell, tell the Padres, hey, I got to start playing now. Forget getting the, the playing time clock started. Just just get me out there. It's good for the hobby. And he did. So I, I think I'll take credit for that. And here's Danny Diaz for the Red Sox. Cody with the Red Sox. We got for the Nationals, we got James Bork. That will be for Dino and the Nats. Then we have Green Atomic for the Red Legs. That's Mike Sani. 45 out of Siani. 45 out of 99. And that will go to John Harshbarger and the Red Legs. All right, next box. We got here. I got Angels. Oh, I got Angels Yankees here. There's Mike. See what Mike Shremsky. What a moment for him. I think Mike Shremsky kind of toiled in the minor leagues for a little while. And now came up with with the Giants this year and has been playing some pretty decent baseball. And he's in Boston right now, which is pretty crazy. It's kind of surreal to see that last name on a Giants jersey in Fenway. I think ESPN has a little live looking right now. All right, for the Tribe, we've got Brian Rocio. And that's for Jason Jones, who has the Indians. Number nine organizational prospect right there. We've got, for the Yankees, Michael King. Michael King, Yankees, Jared Morley. Mike Yastrzemski walks. And, oh, look at this. Is that Nick Madrigal? Yeah. 98 out of 99. Nick Madrigal on card autograph for the White Sox. Dino Bates with that. That is strong. Stat Tracker autograph card. 361 average. I think a big corner infield prospect for the White Sox. White Sox could very quickly have a pretty stacked team in a matter of no time. Get Eloy Jimenez another year or two of experience under his belt. And 
they were they were chasing Manny Machado, so you know that the White Sox, you know, I could at least infer that that they're willing to spend a little bit of cash in free agency. So if they get a good combination of young players and spend a little bit of money, and AL Central could be got. There's Telmito Augustine for the Nationals. That's going to be for Dino as well. Got the Rangers, John. The Rangers, John G. Eli White. Is there like a is there a nickname for the Rangers? Like you know, like you can say like Redbirds for the Cardinals and Nats for the Nationals, right? You can say the Friars for, for the Padres, but I feel like, do the Rangers have one of those, something like that? And we got another one, another stat tracker autograph, a 526 batting average for Connor Scott. 79 out of 99, on-card autograph for the Marlins. The Fish. And that'll be for Josh Callahan. All right, and the next one. So some nice insert autos there as well. Oh, Trey Bush saying Rangers second best team in Texas. That's the nickname he says. Oh, you just wait until they're in, maybe once in that new ballpark, things will change for them. All right. There's Jordan Yamamoto. Another Marlin for Josh Callahan. And for the Rocks, we've got Taryn Vavra. That's for the Rockies Tigers combo, Eric. That one, Eric Shimada. And back here is the Astros, Seth Beer. Mmm, beer. 89 out of 150 for the Strohs. That goes to Evan. Like the Astros are Strohs. Where are the Rangers? The range? Ranges? Old range? Rangey? The, the Lone Star guys, Lone Star State, the, the, the star, I don't know. Can't think of anything. Still baffled why they need a new ballpark. Well, visit, visit Dallas in the middle of the summer, Chris. And play baseball in that ballpark and then you'll know. I think, was it in a weird area? I didn't think so. I thought it was in, I think Arlington's not, I don't know. I'm not sure why, actually. I know, I know they wanted, I know like the heat was definitely a big factor, but that kind of, that couldn't have been the only factor. I think it was a major, maybe it was a major factor. Maybe it was that big. The heat in that stadium, apparently, especially in the middle of those like hot, Texas summers was really brutal. But now I think the new ballpark is next to the new Cowboy Stadium. Is it still in the same place? I'm not sure if they've moved location significantly. Isaiah Gilman. Not sure about location, but they wanted to pop a roof on the thing, so they did. There's Jordan Machado, or Jonathan Machado who I guess is not going to sign his last name. That's for the Redbirds. That'll be for Chris Freeze. 
out of 499, Cole Irvin. 498 out of 499 for the Phillies. That's going to go to Daniel F. Last spot, Mojo. Oh, current stadium is near AT&T. So where's the new stadium? Yeah, summer. I, I had a lot of family. Used to live in Dallas for a while. It's hot. It's hot in the summer. I guess they just call him Jonathan Trey Bush. Yeah, you might be right. I, and Rex had pointed out earlier too that that he's going with the he drops the H. Right there, I've seen obviously you see, you see J O N. But sometimes you see J O H N in Jonathan, but you definitely see an H back there, right? But parents are like, nah, it's inefficient. Let's get those pesky H's out of there. Who, who, who does that? Who does he think he is, Trey? You think he's like a? You think he's like a famous soccer player where you can just go by one name? Is he Neymar? Pele. All right. We've got Garrett Whitlock. Yeah, maybe his family's all about the efficiency, Trey Bush. Maybe that's the style of pitcher he is. We'll see if he gets called up in the near future. There you go, another Yankee for Jared. For the Giants, there's Alexander Canario. That's Keith Hargraves with the Gigantes. Harsh bar say what's a dry heat in Texas, Illinois. If I go to Illinois, the humidity will kill me. And there's another giant, two ninety nine out of four ninety nine. Refractor autograph, Sean Higel. I'm gonna go with Higel. We could just go with meat until it gets called up and actually becomes a becomes a pro. Keith Hargraves with the Giants. Little Oppo Joe Mojo. Number six Giants prospect, organizational prospect. Uh, a few summers back, I did take a drive through the Illinois countryside on my way to the Field of Dreams in Iowa. Yeah, it's pretty, it's, it gets, it's pretty humid. I don't know if I deal with humidity well. I can deal with, you know, California has more of a desert type climate. I can hang, I can hang with that. Luis Garcia for the Phillies. Like Houston, I, I've, been, I've been in, I've been in Houston and that, that was brutal, SKS. I felt like in Houston, I was like swimming through the, through the, through the atmosphere when I was walking along the streets. And I, every like cab driver, every like Lyft and Uber driver we had there, I was just like, how do you guys live? How do you do this? And I'm like, you just get used to it. And like, I mean, really? It's like, yeah. I got to be air conditioned cars. I'd go outside and my glasses would instantly fog up. There's Moises Gomez. Another Tampa Bay Ray for Boombox. And right here we have a Brewer. 23 out of 150. There is Quentin Torres Costa. Brewers, that's John Hyanga got randomized the Brew Crew. Yeah, SK is saying step outside immediately start sweating. Yeah, I just and I've been to like Orlando before and I was just like, oh, I, I can handle Orlando kind of humidity. 
But man, that that Houston immunity was some, was something else. I guess, it, and it was like, and it, this was recently too. It was only like a few years back. And I guess I had never really thought of, never really thought of too much of where Houston was geographically, I guess. In the sense that I didn't realize how close it was to the Gulf of Mexico. And they're like, oh yeah, just 30 minutes away. <laughs> and they're like, oh yeah, okay, so, th so this humidity makes sense. They're like, yeah. It's like, I thought it was like two hours away. I don't know, it's really close. It's like, oh, that makes sense. All right. We've got Nick Green. Oh, I want a green parallel of Nick Green to pop out, Jared. Think that'll have more value, you guys? Nick Green? Green to 99. We've got uh, Cam Ro Rogner. Rogner? Isn't that the last name of the kid in Rookie of the Year? Henry Roger? Rowan Gardner? But like the manager would say it a different way every time. Rowan Buster. Get up here. Rogner. Rowan Hyder. Rowan Euster. And there's another brewer for John Ianga. 93 out of one out of 250. Zach Brown Bend. All right, three boxes to go. This is the double header mixer featuring, we already did the hobby case, and now we're closing out with the last three boxes of the HTA. We should be done with this in a few minutes, 10 minutes or so. Then we'll go through some more orders, and then uh, I believe XR Pick Your Team 1 had sold out, so we'll be doing that uh, a little bit after this. all these open now that we're close to the end. SKS flew into Beaumont, Texas one time. It was surreal. You could literally see the ocean and then Swamp Land. Yeah. I wonder what the, uh, I don't know. I wonder what the first peoples, what a Native Americans thing. They're just like, this is hot. Like we are just not going to be around here during the summer. Got plenty more of this in the store, folks. Hobby cases, hobby pick your teams, and HTA pick your teams. Plenty in the store, so please go and check it out. Jaspiescasebreaks.com so we can do some more. We've got a 12-box hobby down to five teams left and a 12-box HTA down to five teams left. Excellent, so thank you. I don't think anything else is sold out at the moment. It looks like just that XR. So, yeah, like I said, we'll go through some orders and we'll... Uh, We'll go from there. All right, good luck, everybody. El Canon saying, "Hey, I wonder what uh, what what Abe Appison? I don't know how to say that name. Pike thought it when he saw Pike's Peak. I think he thought I'm going to call that Pike's Peak. It's mine now. <laughs> My peak." There's Miguel Geraldo. He thought he thought there there better be there better be silver up in them hills. This is for the Blue Jays, John Samuelson. That's another Blue Jay for John. 87 out of 99. Orelvis Martinez. And trifecta? No, it's a cubby. 405 out of 499. That's Braylon Marquez. And that will be for Josh Kane and El Canon with the cubbies. All right. 
next one. All right, we kind of saw a peak of that hit right there. That's Jonathan Machado once again for the Cardinals. That'll be for Chris Freeze. Chris Freeze, your early bird team hasn't hit yet. We gotta, we gotta find you a hit for your early bird team. We've got Del Rosario, Jeffrey Del Rosario, Royals, Jacob Hanks on the board with KC. And the next one here is an Astro, Seth Beer, mm, Beer, 472 out of 499. Rich Schmidt saying that green auto is a big hit. The Yankees guy? Yeah, I'm not too familiar with the... I mean, I'm familiar with the names of these prospects, but how they how they are, are selling on a secondary market, I'm not super familiar with. All right, the final box of our doubleheader break. Thank you very much, everyone, for getting in. Will there be another one? I don't know. Keep an eye out on jaspyscasebreaks.com. All right, we're going to close out with the final three autographs. Jorge Alcala for the Twinkies. That goes to Michael K. Oh, the Blue Jays green auto? This guy? There you go, another big hit for John Tamiuson then. We have a Fall League autograph, Arizona Fall League auto, 129 out of 150. That's Ryan McKenna for the Orioles. Ryan D with the O's on the board. And the last autograph of the break is going to be for the Rockies. A purple parallel for the purple team. 30 out of 250. And we're just talking about Pike's Peak as well. It's all, it all comes together. It all fits. And there you have it, boys and girls. That's, um, that's Terran Vivara, Rockies-Tigers combo for Eric. And there you are, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do a quick autograph recap right there. Thanks to everybody who participated. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com, really appreciate it. Some nice parallels, some nice names. We've got plenty more in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I like these, uh, these stat tracker autographs. There's another one right there, Nick Madrigal. I like the Atomic that they're introducing into this set. It's Bowman, a lot of great prospect names. The orange, I like love the orange in all these top sets. And we got some nice hits out of this break too. That's pretty nice. 17 out of 50. Vlad Guerrero Jr. was strong. And Fernando Tatis Jr., gold, and a Jersey Auto, Nico Herner. But an excellent debut, excellent couple games. First couple days up, got that little bit of dust out of there. And that's the way it ends, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for breaking with us. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.